We know that we're angles because we have the four 90 degree angles in our corners. So hopefully you guys remember the formula for an area. Um, if you're having trouble, use those elbow partners. The person next to you, people around you to figure out the formula and find the area of these two rectangles. Like if you guys like three minutes, three or four minutes, Just draw the pretty shape. Make sure you guys are trying to find the area. If you, look, if you feel stumped, use your partners for two more minutes.
So our units are inches squared. Because we're multiplying an inch times an inch, we get inches squared. There's two of them now. So make sure you guys pay attention to the units. It shouldn't be 14 just inches. It's inches squared. Okay. So let's start the notes. Did anyone have any questions with those two? Everybody remember the area of the rectangle? first word is base. The base of a shape is any of its sides. Usually for the base, you would think of the bottom. So usually we choose the bottom of the shape as our base of the shape. But the base can be any side of the shape. So it would be the bottom of the triangle or the bottom of the
can be drawn two different ways. You can see this drawn two different ways on a test in the homework, um, where the height is shown drawn on the inside, or for a parallelogram, it could be drawn on the outside, but it still makes a 90 degree angle with your base, which is the bottom. Talk to your elbow partners if you're getting confused on which one's the height. You can't figure out whether the 6, the 4, or the 15 would be the height, or which one's your base.
go, okay, the base makes that 90 degree angle with it, it's the bottom, so it would be that 15 inches. Now to go a step further, we're finding the area. And what is the formula for the area? inches 